19. I'm getting ready to wash some throw pillows and I just thought I would share with you how I'm going to do it. I have three in there to balance it out. I'm going to use the bulky cycle. Uh, I use my homemade uh, Zoat soap uh, detergent. Uh, so I use three-fourths cup of the Zoat detergent and I have just dumped some vinegar in here. Uh, where people use is uh, fabric softener, and I don't use that, <clears throat> so I've got a lot of toxic stuff in it. And then I just sprinkled some borax, about a half of a cup of borax, on top, and so it's ready to go. So I have it on max, and I'm going to put this to bulky. And uh, I'm going to use warm water, not hot, I'm just afraid of hot. Uh, and I'm going to get the double, the two, um, two rinses. And I'm ready to go. So here's how I did the uh, pillows after they were washed. I just put them outside and um, I just beat them with my hand, you know, to fluff them up. Uh, and then after a while, after they were drying, partly dry, then I flipped the top to the bottom. And I use these clamps because this, this particular pillow, uh, the um, clothespins just wouldn't hold the weight of this pillow. And so this one over here, I used the old-fashioned pins. Now this here I'm going to have to work with because it is a little cattywampus. Um, you know, in the dryer it might have kept that from doing, you know, getting a little bit puffy here in this one area and not so much here. So I've got to work with that. Um, so then here is uh, a my pillow. It's called and I just did the same with it. I put, you know, I did two loads of uh, pillows. And uh, so I just hung it up and then I flipped it also. I just hung it with the clothes pins at the top and I flipped it halfway through and I just fluffed it up as best I could. Uh, so uh, that's it, that's what I did guys. And I know you can take and put them in the dryer, but it's a sunny day and what better way to cook any um, dust mites that might be in the pillows. So uh, I don't think there's gonna be any critter, critter that's gonna live uh, in these pillows as hot as it is, because it's in the 90s today. An old, very old, need, and it needed to be washed, my husband's old down pillow that he loves. And don't know if it's gonna make it through this cycle, because it is so old and worn out, <laughs> but I'm going to try it and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do it. Uh, I have got this set for medium. I have got vinegar. I don't use fabric softener. That garbage is garbage. I mean, it is so much toxic chemicals that leaches into your body. You don't want it. You can substitute uh, for, um, this is just white vinegar, okay? So here's his pillow. I've got this stinky little pillow to try to balance it. Let me explain something to you guys. Well, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead, and this is my Zoat soap um, detergent that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to pour that around. And I've got it set for medium, and I've got it set for de delicate. You either have to go with delicate, or you have to go with bulky when you're uh, doing um, pillows. I've got it um, set for cold. So it is medium for those two pillows, delicate and cold. So I'm and gonna do two rinses with this, okay? So uh, I'm just gonna, you know, it's, you're supposed to hold it for around three seconds when you push that, and then you hold this for three seconds and, and uh, go. So there you go.
Here's LP's old feather pillow that I washed on channel. And I put it on the line. It was a real sunny day. I left it on the line all day. And then I brought it in and fluffed it in the dryer for about 20 minutes on extra low. Then the next day I hung it out again. So uh, it feels nice and dry and fluffed. So I'm just going to put a pillow protector on it, which I started to do. And I thought I better do this video to let you know that all is well with LP's old pillow. That's it, guys.